Welcome to another episode of the Unstoppable Podcast, where we talk about books, we talk about how you can publish your book and bring your story to the whole world. Today, we are here to cover the top lies that stop people from writing and publishing their books. The top lies, the top lies. There are so many lies out there. Those are the lies that are telling you that you cannot write a book, that not publish a book. And it's right ingrained in your mind. So we are here to debunk those lies. So what are the top seven lies that hold people back from writing and publishing a book? Can you write for a US publisher for global ed electronic distribution at a very loc lucrative time? That was the question a UK-based publishing agent asked me in writing a few years ago. Among the books the US publisher was looking for was a short guide of 3,000 to 5,000 words. I pitched myself. How did I come? How did I move from a, an unknown back office banker just a few years ago? to a sought after writer within the radar of a UK best book agent. I did a few things that made that happen. But let me share with you the top lies that held me back for many years, for as long as you don't repeat them. So let me tell that again. But let me share with you the top lies that held me back for long so you don't repeat the same. Maybe these same lies or mistakes are holding you back, which could be fatal in today's fast-paced creator economy. So, lie number one, not believing in yourself. Huge mistake. It took me joining Toastmasters and a trip to Calgary in Canada for a complete stranger to tell me, Paul, look inwards. You have all it takes. I did just that. Toastmasters International builds your confidence. And when once you have confidence, nothing can stop you. So stop, I mean, start believing in yourself. Lie number two, feeling you are not smart enough to write a book. When you compare yourself to legends like Malcolm Gladwell, Seth Godin, and Stephen Pressfield, you feel paralyzed. You feel defeated that your book will never measure up. You don't have to. They all started somewhere, and their books were not bestsellers from day one. So write your Facebook. That's what you need to do. Just write your Facebook. So line number three, not believing in your book. Another huge mistake. Closely aligned to the self defeating beliefs, number one and two above. I thought no one needed another book on customer service, a wishy washy topic. When I, still, I first muted the story, I mean, I first muted the idea of writing a book on customer service. That made me leave my manuscript in my drawer to gather dust for more than five years. Oh, how wrong I was. Again, he took a trip to Calgary, Canada for author house book acquisition agents to say this book will go places. Today, my book Bridges to the customer's heart is referred to as the customer service Bible. Lie number three or mistake number, I mean, lie number four, mistake number four is not seeking help. Not seeking help. One of the worst mistakes you can do to your career in any field is going blindly into battle. Ignorance of the law you have heard is not an excuse. I knew nothing about the book publishing business or book industry 
uh, I know nothing about how the book publishing business or industry really works. You don't need to know anything about how the book publishing industry works. All you have to do is seek help. Look for someone that knows how the industry works. Get a coach. Get a mentor. Find anybody that can help you. That is the solution. Seek help. Lie number five that is holding you back. Seeking to publish with the top six global publishers. Ali Adar, a medical, the medical doctor turned YouTuber, had just released his book, Feel Good, Feel Good Productivity, with Penguin, Penguin, Random House UK. Penguin is leading is full is leading its full weight to distribute the book to a global audience. I watched in envy as Ali was signing copies of his book for those that had pre-ordered. Of course, I had bought a copy. But you are not Ali Abdal. Nothing can be as foolhardy as writing to Pearson, El Savior, Penguin, Random House, Wiley, and Simon and Schuster that you want to, you want them to publish your book. Hundred over hundred times, your manuscript goes straight to the dustbin. Before that, uh, Ali Abdal came into Penguin's radar. He had amassed over five million YouTube followers. It took Ali about seven years to get there. But know that there are other ways you can publish your book. Say, publish your book through Author House or other self-publishing companies. Better still, head to Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, and get your book done and dusted. You can have your book in paperback, ebook, audio, almost for free on Amazon within a day. Just write the manuscript, and Amazon will take over. So, line number six, or mistake number six, waiting to save a huge capital before you publish. Years back, I went to a very big publisher in Ibadan, or your state, right here in Nigeria, and they slapped me with a huge bill of five million Naira, that was about 3.5 million dollars, US dollars, in those days, for 4,000 copies of my book. I quickly ran away. The, a, a boutique publisher in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial hub, charged me 5,000 Naira for them to look at my manuscript. They call it manuscript subscription fee. Before accepting my manuscript for review, they asked for 5,000 Naira. If the manuscript is up to scratch, they hinted it could cost 3.5 million. That is about $28,000 by that time, the Naira has gone down to publish and deliver 1,000 copies. This was about 2007. Madness. Don't mortgage your family, farm, house, and your entire future to publish a book. You can publish for pennies on your website, or better still, on Amazon KDP. So lie number seven, mistake number seven, that holds you back from writing and publishing your book. I was born too early. Yes, I can guess. There was no internet. No Amazon, no self-publishing in those days. And there was no book writing clinic. Nothing as a matter of fact, if indeed you needed to get anything done in Africa, like publishing a book, you needed to travel first to London or Paris to seek approval. Today, all you need is a laptop, a smartphone, and the desire to write. This is the best time in all of human civilization to be alive and to be an author. So wake up 
and write your book there you are so those are the top seven lines or mistakes that held me back and might be holding you back don't allow anything to hold you back write and publish your book without much sweat the world's the world needs your wisdom the world needs your point of view and the world needs your story wake up and write you may make money along the way but that's not the main point by writing you gain immortality you feel contented there's no better feeling imagine visiting libraries all over the world and seeing readers young and old reading their creation Imagine walking through some of the world's most beautiful airports and seeing your books displayed alongside some of the world's most revered authors. Imagine your book on Amazon. I teach people how to write books and build expert empires on my book, Writing Kenneth B. W. C. Don't be misled by the title B. W. C. Book writing clinic. BWC is not only about how to write a book, but it, it shows, it also shows you the step by step strategy on how to set up your expert empire. Though success requires mastering digital marketing, you need to start somewhere. You need to start by understanding the basics of writing a book. As Brendan Borchardt highlighted in his book, the millionaire messenger as an expert you can you can operate in seven dimensions not only operate seven profitable dimensions as author speaker trainer coach consultant seminar leader and information marketer you can give the feeling of operating in seven dimensions to do so you should leave your comfort zone and challenge yourself to write because as again Maya Angelo said or once said there is no greater burden than carrying an untold story we will see along my members numbering over 300 cut across professions and industries they include academic professors medical doctors accountants architects bankers pharmacists nurses journalists you can count them so by banishing these seven lies and mistakes you can get your book on amazon within 90 days by following a step-by-step -step process that gets your book done and dusted so that has been this episode of uh, unstoppable podcasts talking about the seven lies or mistakes that keeps you down from publishing writing publishing your book there's a, a bid or you see always running so seek out go to the website and register and join the book writing movement until the next episode of unstoppable podcasts i remain yours and only paul the bookman Uduk. Thank you.